So this is the opening of our Oric California level, and uh, this is all captured in-game. Uh, we use it as a movie to mask the lobe, but it's all completely in-game. It shows off a lot of our new really cool technology, like our sh self-shadowing, our light scattering, depth of field, motion blur, all the cool stuff that we've been adding to the Insomniac engine for this third generation game. The story here is that Nathan Hale, who you're seeing, is with his Sentinel team, and they're chasing one of the Chimeran battleships that they damaged in the Battle of San Francisco. So they're off into the Redwood Forest of California towards this lumber town where the ship is at. But something's gone wrong and uh, there's a blockage in the road and now you're going to kind of see what happens and then what takes place after the convoy is ambushed. This also really nicely shows our motion capture. We uh, use motion capture for the first time in Insomniac and it's turned out really well. We also motion capture the camera. We use the InnerSense camera which allows you to mocap the actors first and then go back and do the camera later. So you can capture the performance from tons of different angles. It's really nice. So we were trying to keep the story right in Nathan Hale's perspective the whole time. You're all, the cutscenes are always focusing on him. You go right from the cutscene into his view. It's picking up. There's all this smoke and fog and debris. So Billy's using the Marksman right now, and the Marksman's kind of our mid-range battle rifle. It's really great because it's scoped, it fires a three-shot burst. It also has an awesome alt fire where it can fire out electrostatic orbs that are kind of like automated turrets and do a lot of damage. Great for flushing out enemies, a bunch of enemies behind some cover. We really like the beginning of this level because it kind of gives you this awesome like uh, chaos and a little bit of confusion. Um, you know, you're just seeing the fire coming out of the fog and you don't really know, fog and smoke, and you don't really know like what's going on. So you're just kind of blindly fighting your way through this mass before you kind of get out into the clearing. So there's the electrostatic orb like wreaking havoc. It went up and started firing electricity down on all those guys on the ridge. So now we met up with the guys that are still alive are kind of getting out of the smoke, fighting all their dead bodies. There's been this big battle going on. We definitely have amped up the gore too. You see a lot of the blood splattered on the ground. If you use grenades on enemies, they are uh, very apt to uh, explode into lots of uh, chunky pieces. We have some really visceral weapons like this Magnum. When you shoot it, the round will stay lodged in the enemy and then you can hit the all fire to blow it up afterwards, which is great for taking out his buddy. Just blew those guys up. Oh, throw a grenade into him. Maybe. Oh, too late. So we also, like we have those big battle moments, we also have, you know, we really want to focus on the pacing and some really creepy moments. So here's kind of another example of the gore. You can also see our new water technology. All these soldiers are leaving ripples. You can see the splash, you leave a wake as you go. So if you get a lot of objects interacting, it's really cool. Some, at some points in the game, there's tons of enemies running through the water and you'll see, uh, you'll see tons of ripples and things like that. You saw all that guy's guts. The water is also reflective and refractive too, which is really a technical challenge. Sir, I was just scouting up ahead. 